today I'm going to show you how you can make your text in your list or library italics. But wait, there's more. I'm going to also show you how to make the text in your SharePoint document libraries and lists modern, obviously. I'm going to show you how to make that text bold, italicized. I'm going to let you I'm going to show you what Microsoft has done to allow you to control this text with ease with very 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 let's add one more very very simple and easy to use controls a very simple easy to use interface all of your life you have been taught if then it's like the fabric of coding. If I do this, then this will happen each and every single time I call for that thing. So Microsoft has blessed us with an update that is going to revolutionize the way that you and your end users interact with SharePoint. Let me say that one more time. This single update, let's pray that when I go to use it, it does what it's supposed to do. It, it's still, it hasn't rolled out everywhere yet, but it will. And this is one of the things that I have been checking every single day. I'm going to say that one more time. Every single day I log in and I check for this update. It is here, and I cannot wait to show it to you. I am so pumped. I'm so excited. And I would love for there to actually be somebody in here while I'm live. But that's okay. We'll do it live. Here we go. All right. So let's say, well, I'm just going to do it. So I've got a bunch of files here. And these are songs that have ratings. Either I love it. Oh, you know what? I'm showing you like the... Okay. Let's see. Let me see what y'all are seeing. Okay, y'all aren't seeing it into the... Are you seeing two mice? Nope. You're not seeing it into the tunnel. But let me get rid of this because I don't need that. Okay. Whew. That was crazy. Let's hope this still shows. All right, cool. Oh, that's, that's way better. All right, so <clears throat> here's the ratings. Love it, hate it, undecided. Let's just say, for instance, I really need to color code this. Love it is going to be green. Actually, you know what? Love it's going to be blue because it's Carolina Mike and SharePoint in 60 seconds. So love it is blue. Hate it, red, undecided, yellow. Simple enough. Well, let's just start with the basics. Let's say I just want to color code the text. Well, all you got to do is bounce over here into your view dropdown, and you're going to hit Format Current View. Straightforward, simple, easy to do. Now, this makes my heart happy because for months I have been seeing alternating row styles and I love it was great I loved it but guess what guess how many times I had a customer ask me could you maybe like make every other row different I want you to post in the comments how many times you thought I got asked that I'm gonna leave it at that and but you know what at the same token I don't know that I ever got asked to conditionally format it either, but I'm a lot more excited about it. Sorry. It is what it is. So we go to conditional formatting, and we're going to make it, we're going to implement our color coding system. All right. Now, here we are. We're seeing that all the text is, you give like a just a, a generic starting point. Great. Well, now I want to add a rule. OK, 
okay, simple enough. What do, what do I want? If what, then what? Okay, I mean, if you've used IFTTTTTTTTT, then you're going to whiz through this. Um, so we go, I want the rating. If the rating column is equal to love it, then do this. Or, excuse me, I could also add multiple statements, but we're not going to, we're going to keep it to one single statement. Then do this. Now it shows sample text in, in, in blue. I don't know how it knew that. That's kind of creepy a little bit because I don't know that I chose that. Anyway, no. We can go and we can click on the background, the fill color. And I like it. I like that one better. But wait, there's more. After you select your fill, you can go no fill here if you want. Go to more styles and this is where the rubber meets the road. I'm telling you, I'm super excited about this. And if you're not pumped, I don't know what, you, you got to get pumped for this. More styles. Look at this. So from here, I can still affect the fill color. But I get all these other beautiful things. Like, there's so many things here. I haven't even played with them all. I don't even know what they all do. Like, you're you're experiencing this with me live for the for the best part. I mean, for the most part. So I can change the font color. Oh my gosh, look at this. Let's go. You know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the fill alone because that's getting a bit much for me right now. We're going to say no fill. And then we're going to go with that beautiful blue. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Well, there we go. Now, we'll come back to this other stuff later if we get anybody that wants to see a demo. So let me go ahead and save that. Now, that's in there as a rule. Come on. All right, there we go. So it's just in there. Let me go ahead and refresh. There we go. You dig it? And on a lot of systems, I see sometimes when you make an update to the view, sometimes you'll get a little, a little asterisk up here. And sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. This time I I don't remember seeing it before I refreshed. Or even when you refresh, you would still see that sometimes. In the comments, uh, let me know if you've seen this as well. But um, if I see the asterisk, then I know that I for sure have to go in and save view as. And then just save over top. Just, just overwrite it. Um, just a quick tip. Your end users, your end users can do the same thing. The only difference is when they say view as, they don't get the option to make it a public view. So, alrighty. So, let's see, we got anybody in here? Still just me rocking it. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, you want to, oh, did I hear somebody in the comments uh, say they wanted to see another um, demo? Alright, sweet. And what did, what did you want to see? Oh, you want me to continue through to um, with the color coding. All right, fair enough. We'll, so let's go back in here. We'll go back to format current view. And we'll go. Now you manage the rules. And you've got your one condition. It should be saved the next time you come back. And now we can click on add another rule. So let's just go ahead and finish building out the color coding. And. We'll go here to the formatting, and we'll go more styles just to get everything out in the open. So I don't think we need a fill color here. I'm good with that. And then we'll go, uh, da, 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 da. what did I do? What did I do? I got all this combobulated. I forgot to add the rule. Oh, there we go. I forgot to actually add the rule. Nice job. R rating is equal to um, hate it. Then we're going to go with the red text. I'm just going to go no fill. No fill. More styles. And then the text color, font color. Go with that red. Okay. We'll save that. We can 
close this. Oh yeah, I thought I could go back. I probably could go back, but hey, I'm I'm getting used to this whole new interface. I'm just jazzed. Uh, so then we're gonna add another rule for the undecideds. If rating is equal to okay, what am I doing? Oh, there's a little delay. I don't know if you noticed that, but I was clicking. And it wasn't doing anything until just now. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of spastic when it comes to SharePoint. I just like to click and go. So, yeah. Is equal to undecided. And then we're going to get rid of this 